Hey, snowmobilers. I just bought myself a new trailer. Well, it's not a new trailer, it's a used trailer. It's a new to me trailer. Unfortunately, the previous owner made a few mistakes when they set up the interior. Let me explain what he did, and then I'll show you how we're gonna use accessories from Caliber to fix it. Stay tuned. All right, here we are at the back. Now you can see we've got uh, ski guides already run up the sides, that's good. This is a double wide snowmobile trailer, so that, that's good. We've got a little bit of an angle here. This was a, apparently an accessory that was ordered by the previous owner. It's not really diamond plate, it's a plastic, it's a polymer here. Kind of an angled thing to kind of let it, uh, to make it easier to load stuff. But unfortunately, we've got exposed gaskets here that I'm afraid are gonna get scuffed up when I run skis over it. This is another uh, brand of product and it's not a bad, it's not a bad brand. It looks good actually. There's nothing to on the sides here to prevent the snowmobile from sliding off. These guides, you know, once the ski is in here, they tend to stay there. It's not likely that a snowmobile is gonna run off the edge, but you just never know. Um, so there's nothing to protect it. But the biggest issue here that I have is this center section. Now you guys, if anybody has used one of these snowmobile trailers before, you know that as soon as a track gets on bare plywood like this, it's gonna start slipping. And so you end up with, basically it's gonna sit, the snowmobile is just gonna basically sit here and go nowhere. I think you gotta take a good run at it and hope that you don't hit the side of the trailer. It almost looks like what these are, are is one of these that are cut down. That's what it looks like to me. Actually, I know it is. I know that's what he did. So he basically took one of these things and cut it down and used that. Well, that's not a very, I mean, it's, I suppose it's one solution, but it's not the best solution. Well, then up here, I don't know why he did this. So here it's got double, double width, just this one. Let me show you on our old trailer what I want to do, and then we'll go from there. Here's my old trailer. I went all caliber stuff on here and uh, I really like their products. It is not a sponsored video. I, I'm just showing you what I use and how I use it and hopefully that helps people. All right, so the first thing I did here is I've got uh, Trax grabbers, they, they're called. They're these things here. What I did was I cut them in half. The Flow Trailer has this center track for tying things down. And because of that, I wanted track scrabbers on either side of that. And then I kind of staggered them. Um, the reason I did that was because I didn't feel like I needed to cover the entire trailer. You know, if you, if you look at Caliber trailer configurator, they show you that these things are running continuously down the center of each stall for the snowmobile. I didn't feel that was necessary. So on my snowmobile, I have them kind of staggered to give me a little bit more leg room in between each one. The other thing that I've got going on here on the sides are these things. And these are called grip glides. The regular glides that, uh, that Caliber sells for snowmobile, it's a continuous track that goes down here. The problem with that is if I'm hauling four wheelers, which I do on this trailer, they give me nothing. These, I've got them spaced out enough that basically a four-wheeler wheel will fit in between there and will grab onto those. So it helps me with loading and tying down four-wheelers and securing them. I did kind of something similar here on the ramp. So we've got this fancy flow folding ramp and on the ramp, I've got ramp grips those are the center things. These go up the middle to protect my ramp from studded tracks and stuff like that. Also help four wheelers climb up here. So that's what I use on the ramp. Up front, I've got these flex glides. And one thing I probably should do is put a set of uh, edge glides on these ramps because what happens is I, I make this turn and these flex glides help me make that turn. But then what a lot of times happens is the sled tends to skid off 
this way. I have to be very careful as I'm coming off the ramp. The edge glides, that would help me out a lot. So let's go back to the new trailer and explain how all of this fits in with the new trailer. All right, so now that you've seen what the flow trailer looks like, so here's what we're gonna do. Along the edges here of the ramp, I'm gonna put edge glides. So these will probably have to come off and then I'll put edge glides as a replacement just on the ramp here. The center ski guides, I'll probably just leave those. These are gonna come off and I'm gonna put on track grabbers up the middle. And I'll probably go about halfway up the trailer so that the tracks are, you know, the snowmobile tracks are always sitting on something. And then on the very edge here, uh, I'm gonna put hinged edge guards to protect the weather stripping. Caliber does a great job with their accessories. This stuff it not only lasts for a long time, but you can reuse it on your next trailer. All right, that should do it on the trailer. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope I see you on the trail.